Hello everyone, welcome to the fifth video in the series called AZ Ways to Fill a Sketchbook. If you haven't checked out the earlier videos, you can visit the link to the YouTube playlist in the video description below. So today we are going to draw something or some things that start with the letter E. So I'm thinking of sketching an eagle today and maybe some other animals uh, like an eel or maybe an elephant and the uh, ink flow for this pen it's not good the paper that I'm using or the sketchbook that I'm using this is the Covell sketchbook with 100% cotton watercolor paper and this is, if I remember correctly, Fabriano Cold Press paper. So this paper is actually a bit uh, rough. That's why you see all these lines here. They are quite rough. So I may actually use this. I may actually have to use this as a dip pen. Okay, you can draw any subject you want as long as it starts with the letter E. Whoa, this is actually not easy to draw. Okay, my eagle doesn't look very fierce, it actually looks very comic-like. And now let's draw an elk. Okay, I probably used too much ink here. So this is going to take a very long time to dry before I can use watercolor. Okay, um, this part here, I think I've drawn it to uh, less white than it should be. The snout should be a bit more less sharp. Anyway, let's continue. Oops, now it looks now it looks bad. Now it just looks bad. Never mind, let me just try and draw another one. So with sketchbooks, it's really uh, meant for you to practice. If you mess up, you can always try again. And hopefully this time around, I can get it uh, looking more like an animal rather than some, some alien. Now the proportion, it's really important. The thing with animals is if you get the shapes wrong, even just by a tiny little bit, it's not going to look right. So uh, in this case, I'm drawing straight with ink. Maybe if I use pencil, maybe I can get it to look a bit more accurate. With pen, I have to be very careful to make sure that I really get the angles right. The horns are all right. I mean, you can draw the horns um, off. You don't have to draw them that accurately and they will still look all right because in our minds we don't actually know how the horns uh, look and I mean the horns they can grow in any way but for the head of all these animals they are very recognizable if you draw them off um, they are going to look different like this part here again very difficult this is what I have so far the eagle looks fine I like it as for the elks well the first one um, I should just laugh it off anyway in the future whenever I flip to this page this drawing will remind me of um, will remind me to do some warm-up exercises, warm-up drawings before I
go into the actual drawing because the subsequent sketches, the subsequent drawings, they look all right. Okay, so let's paint this. So I'm going to start by wetting the paper here first because the yellow beak, it looks like it blends into the white feathers. So let's paint it like this. And for this, I have Ansa Yellow Medium, maybe mixed with a little bit of yellow ochre. All right, for the eagle, I'm going to test out this color that I have in my palette. Um, I'm not sure what color this is actually, but it actually looks quite nice. Let's mix it with a little bit of blue and it's dark enough for painting the black feathers. The reason why I cannot remember the color, uh, the color's name is because I haven't used this uh, this palette for a very long time. That's the color at the corner there. It looks like a permanent brown PBR25, but I can't be sure. When it mixes with the blue, you can get a really dark color, which is very nice for painting dark values. Let's get the sharp edges here sharp. As for this brunch here, I can just paint it with a diluted wash of whatever color this is. Let's just call this PBR25 because it looks like it. I'm going to add a little bit of green for the maybe the uh, you know those algae or the moss or the mold. This color actually looks like a good color that I can use to paint the elk, so I'm going to use that color as well. So the head of the elk, it's, well, this is a bit too dark. So maybe let's dilute it slightly. The head is going to be darker. Uh, I'm not sure if I should color this out. I'll, I'll just color it and I mean, what more harm can I do? So for this, I'm going to color this part darker and then try and fade the body into a lighter shade. I guess it works sort of. Let's paint some shadows for this bird, for this eagle. Okay, this part here needs to, I mean the part nearer to the beak, it should be soft. Let me paint some hint of shadow. This is using yellow ochre. Some feathers need to be darker. This brush, by the way, this is the Da Vinci Cassano brush. Let's paint this darker as well. Last thing to do is to add some details using my white gel pen, maybe a few ruffled feathers. Here as well, just under the head where the light seems to be coming from. And lastly, this bit of highlight here. So this is the completed sketch for today for letter E. As you can tell, I don't draw animals that often. So this was fun. Sometimes it's good to draw something that you don't draw often just to um, challenge yourself. All right, by the way, guys, uh, if you are also sketching along with me, um, going through this series, do share your sketches online with this hashtag, A-Z, 
sketchbook. I'll be sharing some of your sketches on video.